you already know what is a matrix a two dimensional or rectangular arrangement in the form of horizontal lines that are the rows and vertical lines that are the columns is called a matrix you are already familiar with a matrix for example a matrix looks like this this is a matrix of order 2 by 2 you can see two rows and two columns in our previous lectures we have learned how to perform operations such as additions and subtraction of matrices today we will learn how to multiply a matrix with a number let's see how to do that see here we have been given a matrix say a is equal to 3 7 4 5 now what do you mean by 2 a let forget matrices if i ask you say a is a number say 2 and i ask you what is 2 a simply what will you do you can do a plus a or you can do 2 into a the same thing goes for matrices here so to avoid the confusion of adding two matrices we'll just multiply this number with all the numbers inside this matrix let us see how 2a will be equal to 2 into a that is 3 7 4 5 now how will you do that now what you have to do you have to multiply this number 2 with all the entries inside the matrix so simply write 3 into this number 2 then 7 Into two, so this two again. Then four into two, then five into two. So whenever you have a number to be multiplied with a matrix, just multiply that number with all the entries or all the elements inside that matrix. Simply multiply the answer and write three into two six, seven into two fourteen. 4 into 2 8 and 5 into 2 10 so this is your answer so if there is a matrix a with these elements 2a will be 2 into all the elements present inside the matrix now this 2 that is this number can also be 0 can also be a negative integer as well let us solve such a sum where this number is a negative integer here look This is a matrix B, and you have to find out minus three B. That is minus three into B. First of all, tell me what is the order of this matrix. This is not a square matrix, just like A. Same number of rows and columns. No. What you can see is the number of rows is one, two. And what about the number of columns? One, two, three. So two by three. but whenever we have to multiply a number with a given matrix we do not have to look at the order of the matrix because the number needs to be multiplied to all the elements or all the entries inside the matrix so now just like we did the previous one start doing this minus 3 into this matrix that is 5 minus 1 4 2 7 and 1 Now what I will do? I need to multiply this number with all the entries inside the matrix. So let me do that. Remember, I will take this sign as well. The sign cannot be ignored. So five into minus three. So I am done with the element in the first row, first column. Then I'll take the second one. So minus one into minus three. Well, to avoid the confusion of this multiplication sign, you can also use the dot sign as well. So this can also be written as say minus three into four. So this will reduce the space also for writing your sums. So from now on, we will use the dots. So two into minus three, seven into minus three, one into minus. Now simply what we will do we will multiply each entry here and write down the answer So what do you get -3 into 5 -15 -3 into -1 that is 
that is 3, minus 3 into 4, minus 12, minus 3 into 2, minus 6, minus 3 into 7, minus 21, and minus 3 into 1, minus 3. So this is your answer. So now you more or less have an idea how to multiply a given number with a matrix. Now we will perform some difficult operations using this property of matrices. Here we have been given a matrix A and also a matrix B. Now you have been given an equation where 4A plus 2X, X here is also a matrix, is equal to 5B. Can you find out the value of X? Well, what actually is told us to find out? 4A plus 2x is equal to 5b. We have to find out x when a and b are already given. So what we will do, first let us make x the subject. Well, 2x is equal to 5b minus 4a. Before making x the subject and removing 2 from here, let us find out this 5b minus 4a so that we know what is actually 2x. Let us write down. 4a means 4, that is a number given into the matrix A. We have just now learned how to multiply a number with a given matrix. So 4 into this matrix, that is 3, 7, 4, 5. Minus 5b, again a number given to multiply with a given matrix. So 5 into 6, 2, 1, 8. Simply find out 4a minus 5b. So let us multiply this. 4 into 3, 12. 4 into 7, 28. 4 into 4, 16. And 4 into 5, 20. So we have multiplied 4 with all the entries inside this matrix. Now minus, we will do the same with this. Multiply 5 with all the entries. 5 into 6, 30. 5 into 2, 10. 5 into 1, 5. And 5 into 8, 40. Right? Now, you have already learned how to subtract two matrices. Simply, with the corresponding entries, we will subtract. So, 12 minus 30, 28 minus 10, 16 minus 5, and 20 minus 40. This will give us a resulting matrix. Do that. 12 minus 30. Now, instead of writing, we will just do it mentally. So 12 minus 30 will give you minus 18. Do not forget to write the negative sign if your answer comes in negative. 28 minus 10, 18. 16 minus 5, 11. And 20 minus 40 is minus 20. So what do you get? You have not got the matrix x right now. You have got that 2x is equal to minus 18, 18, 11, 20. What is our job? We have to find x. We have to find the matrix x such that 2x is equal to 4a minus 5b. So now we have this data with us. 2x is equal to minus 18, 18, 11, 20. We have to remove this 2. Now normally if we have been given say 2a is equal to say b plus c. And I have to find out a. What do I do? I take this numeric coefficient to this side. So this becomes b plus c by 2. Or A is equal to half of B plus C. Right? It's the same thing we will do here. X will be equal to half of minus 18, 18, 11, 20. So simply, just by putting the half there, that is taking 2 to this side, we get the matrix X. Now this is not the answer. What you get is a number that is half. You get a number to be multiplied with a given matrix. So now what we will do, just like we have found out 4 into A, 5 into B, like that. Now we will find half into this matrix. Solve this. Let us solve. Half into minus 18. Half into 18. Half into 11 and half into 20. 
what will you get will this get cancelled what am i left behind so what do i get 9 9 11 by 2 and 10 so let me write that so the matrix x we had to find out is minus 9 9 11 by 2 and minus 10 a matrix can also contain fractions as well so now you know how to multiply a given number with a given matrix and also how to solve such operations on multiplication of a number with a given matrix